this video we're going to take a look at Mitel Standard Linux. Mitel Standard Linux is a core operating system on which many Mitel My Voice business applications are based. Applications include things like My Voice Border Gateway, Newport Unified Messenger, My Voice Business and My Voice Business Express, and Microlab Client. MSL can be installed on a number of hardware platforms from Hewlett Packard, Dell, and IBM. Might I refer to these as industry standard servers. It can also be deployed to VMware and Microsoft Hyper-V virtual machines. Licensing of the applications is handled via Mitel's AMC site. Mitel Standard Linux provides us a common user interface for managing, administering, and configuring the Mitel applications. Um, that interface is referred to as Server Manager. We'll log on to it now. The server we're logging on to is a Mitel MyCloud with voice service, which includes most of the applications listed. Server Manager is a web browser based interface. We can access it from, from Internet Explorer, from Google, from Firefox. Most, most web browsers are supported. Down the left hand side, we've got all the options for configuring and administering the server and then the main screen shows us individual details for those options applications installed in this case audio web video conferencing my voice business my voice border gateway remote proxy new point mac lab client the service link section covers licensing and system software upgrades under administration we can take backups we can view log files look at events on the system, usually used for troubleshooting. We can monitor the system itself and we can shut down and restart the server. Under configuration we can we can configure the network settings, we can configure integrated directory service for the MacLab with voice system, we can configure DHCP, set the time and date, email integration and, and more detailed information regarding host names and domains. And then for security we can configure remote access and web certificates for things like Secure Recording Connector. Let's take a look at some of the features. First of all, the license information screen summarizes what licenses are currently installed on this server. As you can see, with it being a MacLab with voice, there are quite a lot of different licenses available to us. These are UCC licenses, entry, standard and premium. And for the individual applications, how many audio web conferencing licenses, new point user licenses, teleworker users, a Mac lab, desk phones, mobiles and soft phones. We can look at the licensing in more detail by going to the service link section and clicking on installed applications. This section lists the applications the server is licensed for and what versions are currently installed. We scroll down the list, we can see Mac lab applications, My Voice Body Gateway, Audio Web and Video Conferencing, Mac lab Client, the New Point System, my voice business itself. The status section allows us to synchronize the server with Mitel's AMC site. So if we apply any new licenses, we can come in here and we can synchronize to AMC and the server will pick up the new licenses straight away. It does synchronize on a, on a regular basis, usually on a, on a daily basis. We can see the last time and date it, it synchronized there. Under administration, we can look at common system events, so we can see here various people logging on to Mitel UCA, which is basically the, um, the MyCloud client. We can use this to search for more severe alarms. So if we, if we change the severity filter there, maybe change the time and date. Click reload, see what, what alarms we can pick up. You can see them all listed here. Um, this is useful for support in case there's a problem with the server or, um, or Mitel tech support to get involved and want to look at these event logs, we, we can give them access to this. Under system information, we can see the current status of the server, how much memory is in use, what type of machine it's running on and so on. Under configuration, we can configure things like integrated directory service for um, LDAP access to Active Directory. 
settings for the MicroLab server, things like basic language it's using, connection to email servers, DHCP, date and time and so on. Under security we can configure remote access options. Um, this allows us to specify what remote networks can connect to the server for remote management purposes and whether we've enabled secure shell access so we can, ac we can access it from uh, from SSH using, using an application called Putty. Under web server certificate and certificate management we can use this to control what certificates the server is using um, specifically really for, for secure recording connector if we have a call recorder that will issue a certificate and we can approve it within this this form to allow the, the recorder to connect to my standard Linux. Under the network section we can configure what remote networks or what trusted networks we have. Um, for example we might have a, a LAN with, 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 with quite a lot of different subnets on it. In order for those users on those subnets to be able to access Matter Standard Linux, we have to add them as a trusted network here. So, so basically this server manager interface is just a means through which we control the Matter Standard Linux server, define what applications are available to us, how they're licensed, and individually we can configure those applications using these links. In future videos we'll go through some of these applications in more detail so that we can cover some of the com common configuration options for them. Thank you.